Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Tuesday, and we're going to start following Kathy around to see what's sold for us today. Hey, friends. We are starting in box BE today. Sold this old navy denim jacket. This I picked up at the bins, I believe, up in Denver for my average cost of goods that day was $1.96. And this sold for $12.08 plus shipping on eBay. That is just under a pound, so I'm going to just put it in a little poly mailer. Right, and then box C. Okay, these are some trotter shoes. Um, this is a brand I pick up if they're really cheap. Uh, these like weave looking ones I've sold several times, not for huge money. These ones actually only sold for $16 plus shipping, but they do sell consistently. Mm -hmm. um, I paid $4.99 for them at Goodwill, so not huge money, but I will take a $9 profit any day. And I'll, those are going out in a padded flat rate. All right, box R. With another of the box. These ones did not sell on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, well, these pair sold on eBay, and then I realized they're not listed anywhere except Facebook Marketplace and eBay. So I mm. got them cross posted. I have three more of this size. Mm -hmm. So I got those cross posted to eBay and uh, not eBay. Kitizen, Mercari, Poshmark, and then I have, I think, eight of each of size five and six. So um, after we do all this, Shipping, I will get those cross posted because I know that these are going to sell fast. So. Right. Honestly, they've been selling great, and now that they're on mm -hmm. every platform, they're going to just sell faster. So winter's coming quick. So um, thankfully, with this perfectly, like I'll just show you really fast because I already had them in here. Thankfully, so all I had to do is just type in like bogs, and then. Yeah, so you can see I cross posted the size sevens and then it's telling me I only have the others on here. Okay. It doesn't have Let me get in a little closer so you guys can see that. Oops. Yeah, so now all I have so to do is. You can kind of see the, the different platforms that they're listed on. Click that and then I'll get them over to Poshmark Mercari and so get it in after we do this. So that'll Super open up easy. all the pages yeah. there. That way. What I love most about List Perfectly is I don't have to save any photos. Like on my phone, it makes your phone a little bit slow when you have too much on there. So I get them uploaded there and just delete them and they're there forever. And <laughs> if there's ever a return or something, it's still there. So anyways, these sold on eBay for $38.95 plus shipping. I have $15.58 into those. Those are going to go out in a poly because they're under a pound. box of BB. These are women's Converse. They're like a platform, all black. Really good shape. I actually picked these up at a local thrift for $7.99, which Converse is one of the brands that they love to mark up at most thrift stores, so I got lucky on those, I guess. I mean, $7.99 is... Converse don't sell for a ton. I mean, right. there are some that do, but these have been listed probably about a month and this is the first offer I've gotten. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I don't usually pick them up because they like to price them at $12.99, $15.99, yeah. and they only sell for like $25, $30. Bucks Just not enough opinion, meat on the so. bone with those pricing. Yeah. yeah, so these ones sold for an offer of $27 plus shipping that I accepted, so not too bad. They did sell on Mercari, so they're gonna go out in this box because it's FedEx Smart Post. Right, AZ. Rocks. Actually, this person bought both of these but separately. So, <laughs> he growled at you. No, he didn't. Because <laughs> he did. Good boy. All right. Um, yeah, so these two pairs of Crocs I got at our local JBF sale, I think just last week or so, a couple weeks ago. I paid eight dollars each for them, and they sold this morning both of them for thirty-four dollars plus shipping each. So, really good. They are under a pound, so they're both going out in a just a mailer. I'll do two just for fun, two different ones, even though they're going to the same person. Yeah. So she offered on one, I accepted, and then she offered on the other. 
that she just messaged me. I could have done a FedEx Smart post for both. And she paid $7.99 for shipping instead of $5.99 comes due, but I wasn't gonna lose the sale over right. time to explain all that. So for her to save four dollars and me to save nothing. So Yeah, and I think we've mentioned it before, whereas if somebody orders two things from us at, like the same day, we don't try to cancel and can you know <laughs> make it into one no, order. If they reach out after like, oh, I didn't realize you're the right. same seller, then I would do it. But if right. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to explain it, cause I have done that before and it just was confusing. Cause you them. usually they have to say, we'll cancel understand. the orders and then make a big bundle or the bundle of the two items or whatever. And then you'll have to buy it again. And yeah. in our experience in that situation, it's hard to get them to buy it again. Like, yeah. And then they, uh, some people just don't like, they have a, certain amount designated that they can buy something with and they don't get their refund right away so yeah it just holds up their money and stuff so i just accept yep move along so all right let's see cute right, this is going out to our viewer Kristen. i uh, just a pair of little baby Oshkosh fleece lined overalls. She grabbed these on Kid is in for $12 plus shipping and says she loves our video. So thank you so much, yeah. Kristen. Thank you, Kristen, for the support. Thank you so um, much. Those are going out in a mailer. Let's see, what do we want? This is a good one. Oh, <laughs> They're all good ones. <laughs> we, I know. I had it. <laughs> We were running low, so we kind of grabbed all of our extras and put some new ones in there today, but I do want to use all my fall ones, so. All right, I think you have more fall ones than any other ones now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we probably won't use by the end of this fall. All right. Then we'll just have double next fall. Yeah, I'm not worried just about it. I'll still use them even in the summer. <laughs> Uh, so this is actually also some Oshkosh overalls. These ones are vintage, made in the USA. They're just denim though, um, nothing, not a cute print or anything. These ones I picked up at JBF for two bucks, sold them on Facebook for $25 plus shipping. So really good sale there. The vintage ones definitely sell for higher amounts than the newer ones. Let's put those, you think those would fit in this little small one or no? Uh, yeah, I think so. A-Y. Okay, some Tava sandals. These I picked up at Goodwill for $9.99. Sold them on Facebook for $35 plus shipping. Those are over a pound, so we'll put them in a flat mailing box. Okay, and then some Sorrells on the top shelf. <laughs> Found them. So these are just some nice little black ankle booties. Really good shape. They honestly looked new without box. I got these at Plato's Closet. Uh, usually whenever me and Chris have like a date night, I make him go to thrift stores or somewhere with me that we can try to find something yeah. to pay for our date night just for fun. Yep. Try to yeah. make up for the cost <laughs> of a nice dinner and... Yeah. It's crazy babysitting how much or whatever. Like a, just literally a date night cost. Right. Just like a dinner in a movie is like over a hundred bucks these days. It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so we paid twenty five dollars for these. I listed them on Posh for one twenty five. This buyer got the Posh or VA offer of a hundred with discount shipping, and they countered at eighty. So I accepted. That's still like a thirty four, five, six dollar profit. So I paid for the appetizer. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> that probably paid for her, at least dinner. We don't go to movies no. really, so. Well, um, does anybody nowadays? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, what else? Classic. Oh, this was a bra. I was like, it doesn't have a box. Classic t-shirt bra. This is the one. This one sold on um, Poshmark for $30 with discount shipping. So buyer accepted the Posher BA offer that went out. And I make what, like 22 bucks or something. So really good. Nice. Was Poshmark, so we'll probably do uh, maybe a regional B or maybe this the square one. Did we do one of these? I don't know. Normally the bras don't sell on Poshmark, in which case right. we use one of our big square boxes, but 
There's not really an a eight by USPS eight by eight. one that's like that. There is a square, but how big is a square? Small. Okay. Is it smaller? It's like this. Was so. that a six by six? So we'll find a box for those. Yeah. <laughs> for that. It's Poshmark, so we could use any of the um, or priority mail. We have or yeah. Want to use? So. All right, last sale today so far, AV. This is a men's Ralph Lauren button up. I actually picked this up at a garage sale this summer for 50 cents. It sold for my full list price, which was just $18. Ralph Lauren's not, not, not something I normally pick up, like something basic like this, <laughs> but for 50 cents at a garage sale, I will. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, 18 bucks. I think that was like a $14 profit almost. I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, Ralph Lauren, I've been selling those golf polos really well, but those are new at Tag. Golf's attire just does really well in general, in my experience. Mm -hmm. um, so I would pick those up, even probably pre-owned if I got them under five bucks. But yeah, just like regular button downs like this, I want it unless it was an awesome pattern or something, which this is just a strike. So right. <laughs> if it was like Aztec, Southwestern pattern, yeah. something like Any that. Any of the I big trendy patterns. Yeah. Otherwise, Ralph Lauren, they have some really good sweaters and stuff to look out for, but. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna get working on packing this stuff all up. I think Reese went downstairs because he's mad at me so we'll see if we can get him back up here by the time we're done packing up but we'll be right back looks like Reese decided to come back upstairs and sleep on mommy's hoodie <laughs> but we did get stuff packed up and we had what two sales come in yeah. as we were packing things up I have one of the labels so C-O yeah one one came in and then they just paid right before we started recording again so we weren't prepared. So these are just some women's dance go like sneakers. I got these at an estate sale. I have seven forty-seven into them, and they sold for thirty-four dollars on Posh. That was an offer. Someone sent me, and I accepted. So that's that. And then the other one was gonna be on the shoe shelf. These guys are some brown New Balance sneakers. Now I'm sad because. I saw these exact shoes a couple days ago at Goodwill for a good price, but I've had these ones sitting not that long, but just, I don't like having too much of the same unless it's like, something like those we little know bobs I know through, yeah. sell all the time, but yeah, right. like something like this, I don't know. So I just left them. Now I wish I would have bought them. But anyways, these sold for $40 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent to a watch on eBay and I have $7.99 into those, so. All right. Really good. And these, they are a big size, so I don't know if they're gonna fit in a shoebox. I think they will. You think they will? I think they will. I don't know. Because we have to add some sort of belly fit. I think even with the plastic that we'll add, they should be good. So. Yep. Awesome. That is all. <laughs> and then what are we packing that one in? Oh, uh, that's just posh, so probably regional B or a small size, like a size seven. Women's. But they are a little chunky. Uh, that's too squished. A little too squished. So now. regional B probably. We were just talking about this. Um, we just put an order in too cause yeah we're... so we've been saying you know get your orders in you don't want the usps to run out of boxes and you not have some so we've been placing our orders we actually probably have 250 shoe boxes just ready yeah for this next few months which honestly we probably use close to that in a month so what i'm going to try to do is remember to use the regional bees whenever it's a posh sale posh, so that yeah. way we don't run out of our shoe boxes. I just feel like the regional bees are gonna be a lot easier to get your hands on yeah. versus a, a shoe box, which is one of our most common yeah. boxes. I don't wanna just keep ordering more because right. I do know other people need them. So since we do sell a lot on Posh and a lot of shoes, I wanna save the shoe boxes for like um, Facebook and eBay sales. And yeah. These, these are basically almost the same size. Yeah. Like they're a little bit They're a little wider, wider and a little shorter. Yeah. But Pretty much they're perfect for shoes. You know? For most shoes, yep. Okay. We'll add extra some paper if we need to, but yeah. that's what we're doing today. All right. Was there anything else you want to talk about? You want to talk about the board? Sure. Do a little um, update real quick? Yeah. 
So we did have another no listing. I don't know if we <laughs> went over that. I don't yet. think we have. Yeah, I mean, I did get a lot listed last week, so I'm sad I didn't at least do my one a day, but I feel good about last week. Overall, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then Sunday I did 10, because I had already had the drafts ready from, like, here. Yeah. So I wouldn't, Sunday, you know, we do family stuff, church, everything like that, mm -hmm. so we don't have a lot of time, but I actually brought the laptop in the car on the way to our church is, like, 30, five, 30 to 40 yeah. minutes away, so I got those 10 listed while us driving there, so... That's a good thing about having a draft <laughs> bank, which I want to try to get better yeah. at. So, and then I did nine yesterday, and so far thirteen today. The thirteen is including. I'm starting to list when I said I went and got a bunch of retail arbitrage. So a lot of those are multi quantity. So that does include, like I had two of one shirt, two of another shirt, two of another yeah. shirt. So, yeah. Which it should. Yes, uh, in my those opinion. are items yeah. that are listed, and that's right. the price of them also. So if we had one multi multi-quantity listing of one specific item but if we had 10 of them that's 10 opportunities for a buyer to buy something from us so yeah. i think that's perfectly <laughs> acceptable and then yeah so i have about eight more bathing suits as multi-quantity that i'm about to list right now chris is going to go pick up the kids from school i'll have those done by the time he gets back so that'll yep by the end of today at least i'll be like at 20 here so then we'll just keep going keep on keeping on yep <laughs> as Joe Dirt says. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like Kathy did say, I'm going to take this stuff off to the post office, pick up the kids from school, and that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.